Welcome to Easy to Love Yoga with Shanna. I'm so glad you've joined me for this chair yoga class today. Please have a yoga strap or a men's necktie handy for class. Let's begin by coming seated forward in our chair so our glutes are on the chair, our hamstrings are off the chair, allowing us to have that nice 90 degree bend at the knees and feet flat on the floor. Rolling our shoulders back and down a couple times, releasing any tension we might be holding in the shoulders or even in the neck. When you're ready, place your hands wherever they land comfortably on your legs. Thinking about posture now, sitting nice and tall in your chair, lengthening your spine. Closing your eyes for just a moment here and bringing your attention now to your breath. Notice as you inhale, the chest rises and then the belly rises. And as you exhale, the belly falls and then the chest falls. Let's notice our breath for the next five rounds of breath. Bringing your attention now to the crown of your head, let's begin a scan of our bodies from the crown of our head all the way down to our toes. Taking a moment to notice any areas we need to be mindful of during this practice today. So any aches or sprains or strains that we might have and always remembering if a pose doesn't feel right, you do not need to do that pose. It's important to always stay safe. Completing our body scan and bringing our attention once again to our breath for our four square breathing practice. Beginning with an inhale through the nose of four, three, two, one. Retain your breath, four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. And retain the emptiness, four, three, two, one. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Retain, exhale, retain, inhale, retain, exhale, retain, inhale, notice your posture. Retain, exhale, retain. Return now to your regular breath and just notice that you're breathing deeply. Let's keep our eyes closed and our shoulders relaxed. Remembering that four square breathing is a practice we can do anytime to quickly calm the body. Anytime we're feeling anxious, angry, stressed, just do a few rounds of four square breathing and you'll find that will bring relief and very quickly relax the body. So still sitting nice and tall in our chair, eyes closed, shoulders relaxed. Let's lower the right ear towards the right shoulder, gently stretching out the left side of the neck. One more breath here, returning the head to center, and this time lowering the left ear towards the left shoulder, stretching out the right side of the neck. One more breath here, keeping the eyes closed, lifting the chin as if you were gazing up at the ceiling, stretching the front of the neck. One more breath. Return to center, and this time draw the chin in towards the chest, stretching the back of the neck. One more breath. Return to center, opening your eyes. This time we're going to just drop our hands. We're going to inhale and shrug the shoulders up, and exhale, release them all the way down. Inhale and shrug. Exhale, release. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, release. Let's do one more. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Let's roll out the wrists, keeping the wrists healthy. We all do spend a lot of time on our phones, on our computers, even doing repetitive work. Let's roll the other way. So it's important to always think about stretching out the forearms and the wrists. We're going to make a stop sign with one hand, bring gentle pressure to the fingers, feeling the sensation of the stretch in the lower part of the wrist. We're holding here for five rounds of breath.
And this time allow the fingers to travel down towards the earth. And once again, gentle pressure, this time feeling the sensation, the stretch along the top of the wrist. These are the extensors and flexors of the wrist being worked with this stretch. One more breath here. And let's change hands, making that stop sign, gentle pressure to the fingers, feeling that sensation in the lower part of the wrist. And during this class, anytime we're doing any sort of movement, we always stop at that first sensation of the stretch in order to stay safe in our poses. Let's lower the fingers now, and once again, gentle pressure to the fingers, feeling the stretch along the top of the wrist. One more breath here. And this time, let's bring our hands together, interlace the fingers, make a really tight fist, and we're going to roll the fist in one direction. And let's change directions, rolling the other way. Always noticing one direction is a little easier than the other. Beautiful. One more roll here. And now we're going to bring our fingers. They're still together, woven, but they're a little bit more separated. And we're just going to do the wave. So we're going to start the wave in one, one direction. Most likely, this is the most comfortable direction for you to do this movement. So just bringing some more movement into the arms, the forearms, the wrists, the fingers, and hands. One more wave in this direction. And let's pause. And now let's do the wave in the other direction. And just notice in your own body if it feels a little bit more awkward. Let's do two more. Beautiful. Let's shake it out. Now we're going to start with our palms facing each other in front of the body. We're going to introduce a gentle twist. We're going to follow the hand that's moving as we exhale and keep our eye on the hand the entire time. So following the hand with your gaze. So as the left hand travels, we're exhaling. We're following that left hand with our gaze. And we're bringing as far back behind as we can comfortably. And then we're going to slowly inhale and draw that hand forward. And now exhale, right hand travels, following with your gaze. Following your hand with your gaze helps assist you in making this nice gentle twisting. And inhale forward once again. Exhaling left, follow with your gaze. Inhale forward. And exhale right, follow with your gaze. Inhale forward. Beautiful. Keeping your gaze straight ahead this time, we're going to exhale, open both arms, feeling that chest lift. Inhale forward. Exhale, open and lift. Inhale forward. And this time, backs and hands face each other. We're going to exhale and press away. Inhale forward. Exhale and press. Inhale forward. Allow the hands to come down to your knees where they land comfortably. We're going to take our left hand to our right knee, our right hand behind us on a chair. Sitting nice and tall, let's exhale, twist, and look over the shoulder for eight rounds of breath. Noticing all the muscles tighten as we first move into this pose. Continue to breathe deeply. Those muscles will begin to relax. One more breath here. Slowly unwind, coming back to our starting position. Beautiful. This time, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you on the chair, still sitting tall. Now exhale, twist, look over the shoulder, hold eight rounds of breath. Just notice in your own body if one side seems to be a little tighter than the other. Perhaps it is, perhaps it's not. Just notice. One more breath. And let's slowly come back to our starting position. Now we're just going to take our feet and extend them out slightly. We're going to take our hands and we're going to slowly bring them down our legs all the way to our ankles as we think about relaxing our low back, relaxing our mid back and our upper back. Now, if this is as far as you can go, you can just stop here and rest your elbows on your knees. Otherwise, continue moving the hands down the legs as we continue to relax the back, mid-back, upper back, shoulders. When you reach the ankles, just hold on to the ankles with the hand, but continue to relax the back side of the body. So relaxing those shoulders, relaxing your neck, 
allowing your head to get heavy, be pulled towards the mat. So the crown of your head is shining towards the mat. Taking a moment here, just noticing all of those muscles as they begin to relax in the body in this modified forward fold. Let's stay here for 10 rounds of breath. Before we come out of the pose, just notice that those muscles have begun to relax. One more breath here. And we're slowly going to come back up into our starting position, bringing those hands up the legs as once again we lengthen the spine and bring those feet back in. And those feet are nice and flat on the floor, knees at a 90 degree bend. Beautiful. Let's take our strap and start working on the lower half of our body. So we're going to take the strap around the sole of our left foot. We're going to hold the strap with both hands. So you're going to want to wrap that strap around the hands once or twice just so you have a good grip on the strap. We're going to focus on our posture now. So as we pick that foot up off the floor, I want you to think about having a nice tall spine here, not using the backrest. We're still seated forward in the chair. And let's contract the foot towards the seat of the chair and extend back out, always keeping a slight bend in the knee. Let's do two more. Beautiful. This time hold that extension. Bring both ends of the strap into the left hand so your right hand can grab the chair. Now we're going to extend out to the side for our inner thigh and groin stretch, but I want you to take a peek at your knee. Make sure there's still a micro bend in the knee protecting the joint. Once again, thinking about posture, so we don't want to be leaning over, we don't want to be slouching, we want to sit nice and tall here. Let's add a gentle pulse using the strap, feeling the quads engage in the top of the leg. Two more. And we're going to pause. And then let's draw the leg forward. We're going to grab that strap halfway and bring that foot across the opposite knee. You always have the option of taking the foot on the floor a little bit more forward if you need that extra room. Otherwise, keep it at 90 degrees. We're keeping our foot flexed to protect the bent knee. And all we're doing now is exhaling and lowering the body towards the legs. You're gonna feel a nice stretching sensation in the hip. Now it's gonna be uncomfortable most likely because we do spend a lot of time seated, but it shouldn't be painful. If it's painful, just rise up until you're comfortable. Taking a moment here, just noticing the sensations in your body and we're gonna hold for 10 rounds of breath. Breathing deeply. giving this pose a chance to work its magic. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly rise up, strap in both hands. Allow that foot to come down to the floor and we're gonna change the foot in the strap. So now your right foot is in the strap. One end of the strap in each hand wrapped around at least once. We're going to lift that leg off the floor, slight bend at the knees, and we're going to contract and extend. Contract and extend. Now think about posture here, sitting nice and tall, not using the backrest. Let's do two more. And this time we're going to hold that extension, both ends of the strap into the same hand. So our left hand can now grab the chair. Let's take it out to the side. I want you to take a look at your knee. Make sure there's a micro bend there. Sitting nice and tall here. Thinking about posture. Nice, tall, lengthened spine. Let's use the strap now and add that pulse. Two more. 
and pausing. Let's draw the foot forward, grabbing that strap halfway. Bring the foot across the opposite knee. Keep that foot flexed to protect the bent knee. And let's exhale and lower towards the legs, looking for that nice stretching sensation in the hip. Remember, we're breathing deeply throughout this stretch, trying not to hold our breath. And let's stay here for 10 rounds of breath. One more breath here. And let's rise up slowly. Strap in both hands, allow that foot to come down to the floor. Remove that strap and just place it loosely around your shoulders once again, as we will use it towards the end of class. So sitting nice and tall in your chair here, let's grab the chair with both hands, picking up one foot and rolling the ankle in one direction. Take a look at your foot. Make sure it's a nice circle you're making, not a square or a triangle or some other shape. You could be losing range of motion already in your feet, so just take note. Let's roll in the other direction and again. Take a look at your foot. Make sure it's a nice circular shape you're making. If you find that it's not, something you can practice at any time you're sitting in a chair or at your desk, outside enjoying the weather, perhaps watching TV. And let's turn this now to a point of the toe and a flex of the foot. Pointing, flexing, point, flex. Let's do two more. Beautiful, let's set that foot down, picking up the other foot, rolling the ankle in one direction, and again, taking a look at this foot. Is it in a circle that you're making? Let's change directions, rolling the other way, and again, noticing that shape that you're making with your foot. And turning this now into a point for two, and a flex, point, flex, point, Flex, let's do two more. Beautiful, let's set that foot down. Now sitting nice and tall in your chair, I want you to think about bringing one heel forward and then bringing the toe back close to your chair, chair to tap down. So heel forward, toe tap, forward, back. So it's heel and toe. And now we're gonna take that same movement. We're gonna walk it slowly out to the side. Let's walk it slowly forward. Back out to the side. And last time, let's walk it forward, holding here. Let's do one more heel toe, and then place that foot down. Let's start with the other side. Heel far, toe is close. So heel toe. And now let's travel slowly to the side. Back to the front. Back to the side, and to the front, holding here, and placing that foot down. Beautiful. Now we're going to pivot on our toes. So we're going to keep our toes glued into the floor, and we're going to lift our heels. We're going to bring them inside to the center and outside. And we're just going to do that with a little bit more tempo. So in, center, out, center, in, center, out. And then keep it going. Just trying to keep those toes rooted in the mat and tapping the heels down. Let's do three more of these. Last one, and pausing here. Now let's bring the heel just a little bit more forward. So now we're gonna root the heels into the mat, and it's going to be the toes that are lifting and moving. So again, we're gonna lift inside, center, out, center, in. So once again, with a nice tempo, in, center, out, center, in, center, out, center, in. And I want to hear those toes tapping down. Let's do three more. Last one. 
Beautiful. Now what we're going to do is bring one toe forward and we're going to keep a slight bend at the knee, still holding onto the chair and just lifting off the floor a couple of inches. Feeling the quads engage here. Two more. Beautiful. Let's set that foot down. We're going to start with the other toe extended and lift. Slight bend at the knees. Two more. Beautiful. And setting it down. Now we're going to just hold onto the chair with both hands once again. We're going to pick up one foot, keeping it flexed, and we're just going to lift towards the center. Trying to think about that knee staying in one place. So pivoting the leg from the knee down. Two more. And let's set that foot down. Now let's flex the other foot, lift and pivot towards the center. Once again, think about moving from the knee down. Two more. And setting that foot down. Now let's flex and lift the opposite foot. And we're gonna do the same thing. It's a tiny movement to the outside. Just a gentle lift. Two more. And place that foot down, flexing the opposite foot, lifting. And once again, it's a gentle movement to the side. Two more. And set that foot down. Now we're just gonna do a nice, we're gonna root the toe into the ground and just make a circle, keeping that toe rooted into the mat, starting in one direction. And let's change directions of that circle. And you might notice some snapping or popping. It's okay, it's perfectly normal. Let's do one more here. And let's change sides. Root toe in and circle in one direction. And always you're going to notice one direction is a little bit more challenging than the other. So instead of starting in the natural direction that's easiest for you, try starting in the opposite. And let's change directions. Let's do two more. Beautiful, and set that foot down. Now once again, 90 degree bend at the knees, feet flat on the floor. Let's take that strap now off of our shoulders. We're gonna place it in front of us, shoulder height and shoulder width apart. We're gonna elevate it slightly in front of our line of sight. We're still thinking about a tall posture here, and we're gonna exhale and gently twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. To the right. Inhale, center. And last one to the left. Inhale, center. Beautiful. Now widen your grip on the strap. This time we're going to lower the right hand as we look through the left hand at the ceiling. So exhale, lower, look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, change directions. Look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Inhale, center. Let's do one more each side. Exhale, lower. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Inhale, center. Allow that strap to come down to your knees and you can just set that strap aside. Now we're sitting nice and tall in the chair once again. Let's roll our shoulders to the back of the room, lifting the elbows a little bit more this time. Getting a good range of motion here. Let's change directions, rolling the other way. One more roll and then place your hands wherever they land comfortably on your legs. So thinking about a nice tall spine here once again, let's close our eyes for a moment, bring our attention again to our breath, noticing that we're still breathing deeply. Bringing our attention to the crown of our head and doing one last scan of our body from the crown of the head to the toes. And without judgment or expectation, just notice how you're feeling after this practice today. Bringing your awareness once again to your breath. Allow 
on your hands to drop to your side as they rise up overhead, palms come together and they lower down to heart center. I'd like to thank all of you for sharing your energy with this practice today. I hope you enjoyed this chair yoga class and that you have a fantastic day. Namaste. So thank you once again for joining me in this chair yoga class. I really hope you've enjoyed this class and you share it with your friends and family. And remember to subscribe to this channel and support me bringing yoga, free yoga to everyone. Have a wonderful day and until next time.